Yes, what's the holdup? Either my bone marrow is compatible with stars or it's not. You'll get the results as soon as the lab has them. Marty, I was here for this test at the crack of dawn. A bone marrow transplant may end up being exactly what Star needs. But in the meantime, she's been stabilized. There's no need to be impatient. Oh, look, I'm impatient, all right? I want to find out if I'm going to be the donor before everybody else shows up. Vicky and Dorian and whoever else in the family they can drag into this. You act like you don't want their help. No, I want to be the one who helps. Besides, nobody else from the family has to be tested. Maybe nobody will say anything about all this to Blair. Well, wait a minute. Blair doesn't know you're being tested? She has enough to worry about. She's going to think I'm pushing my own medical what agenda What am I supposed to do, Marty, back? huh? Sit on my hands and wait for her to wake up? When, when Blair found out th that people recover from aplastic anemia without a bone marrow transplant, she, she grabbed onto that. She, she latched onto it like, like it was a, a life jacket on a sinking ship. Now she doesn't want her kids, she says, to have a bone marrow transplant. I agree. The treatment may be risky, but it's also the best treatment available for aplastic anemia. Well, that's why I'm here. Yeah, you should talk. What, whatever. Whatever you two decide to do. The test sh results should be ready. I will take you there. Todd? it hits me, you know. I mean, my little girl is so sick. And all I can do is take a blood test. Come in. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do this. So that's what real coffee that's tastes it, like. That's it. I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> honey, honey. Do I look as wiped out as you do? No, impossible. I don't know. I was up working on that too. A lot of that going around. Oh, I missed you. There's a lot of that going around too. Tough sledding out there, huh? Hmm. You know, I went out with him yesterday. Telling Judge Carlovati that I had a surprise witness. And now I gotta go in today and tell him I don't have that. And that for Antonio, I got Zippo. Please. I'm begging you, don't you have anything for me? Please. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, I got this. Ah. Oh good, you have a feather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Patrick found that in RJ's office last night. And this is a good thing. Yes, it is. Because that matches the feathers that were on the costume that the guy was wearing when he held up Kevin and Cassie at gunpoint down there in Rio. And he took the documents that gave R.J. power of attorney. Now, I'll bet you that uh, R.J. arranged all that if he, if he wasn't down there himself. Well, does R.J. have anything to say about this? <laughs> oh, silly me, of course not. I brought him in anyway. What? You arrested R.J.? Yeah, not a stolen property charge. It's never going to stand up, but at least he can't disappear. He's down there right now in his cell. He's having breakfast on the taxpayers. That's terrific. This is terrific. In my hand, I've got the proof that R.J. has been shopping at the bit to get to Carlos' bank account, and yet I'm supposed to walk in and ask the judge, let alone be granted, for a continuance based on a feather. Good luck, Nora. Well, I, uh, I will have more, honey, soon. Like what? I can't go into any details right now, but I think definitely there was, there's somebody else that was involved in Carlo Hester's murder. Uh-huh. Yeah. Specifically? That's why I was up all night working, all night long. Sweetie? What? I, you gotta have something for me. You, you got, I mean, do you have anything for me? Not enough. I, I just, honey, I need a little bit more time just to put all these pieces together. Honey, I am so fresh out of time. Judge Carlovati's upstairs right now putting on his robes. He's heading into the courtroom, and when court convenes, he's going to make me close the case. What if R.J. turns out to be the killer? Do you think it'd come down to that? 
I just, I can't imagine Archie picking up a 38 and, and... Bo, you gotta let me in to see him. Can you swing that? So seeing me cuffed and dragged out of my own club in front of my customers didn't fill you up? You had to come down here and get seconds? Remove the cuffs, please. I already told you, RJ. I didn't know that Bo was gonna show up last night, let alone arrest you. Yeah, right. And I'm Santa Claus with a suntan. Look, I don't understand. It's why now, huh? Why play me now after I help you with your case? Look, like I said, pulling you in was not my call. And you know, the truth is you were never really straight with me or Bo about what you were doing the night of the murder. I killed the ship's lights, not Carlo. You only admit to it because somebody saw you. Even so, I was ready to believe that you weren't in this any deeper than that. Or were you? <laughs> you and your best bud. Bo obviously thinks so, or I wouldn't be enjoying these lovely accommodations, would I? Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm a menace to society. I'm public enemy number one because you caught me with a feather and a ring. I just got off the phone with Benny. He said that Bo's got R.J. locked up at headquarters. And when did that happen? Last night. It must mean that there's a major break in the case. Mm, well, it better happen soon, because court's gearing up to happen in less than an hour. Hey, we got plenty of time for something to happen. Well, I can't help but think about the minutes ticking away. You're not going to be convicted. It's a chance I took when I turned myself in. Antonio. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not sorry that I stayed to face this. Not after last night. Yeah, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? Those people on Angel Square, everybody who loves you. Well, almost everybody. You know what? Just kind of made everything that I've been going through kind of fall by the wayside. Especially being with you. Never been better. You know, I used to think that spending the rest of my life in Statesville behind bars was going to be my worst nightmare. Not being able to wrap my arms around you again. Statesville doesn't even compare. We're gonna have plenty more nights like that. You got that? Because I'm not letting you go. And I'm not done fighting for you. Neither is Bo. I must go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, just in case. I hate to interrupt, but it's time to take my client to court. Kelly, dear, I have always known that you were beautiful and sweet, but now we're just going to have to acknowledge you are big-hearted. Well, Rita, you're wonderful. Well, I'm family. Okay. But how could I not volunteer to get my marrow tested, too, even though it's incredibly painful? No, no. It's just a simple blood test. It's certainly not going to be any worse than the way you've been suffering this long, bleak march in Landview instead of in Gay Paris, La Vie Lumière. Well, I think the Paris can wait. I don't know if Star can. Does it irk you? Being here? Yeah, it does. I miss him horribly. You know, I can't wait to see him again, but I'm solid on this. Partly thanks to Drew. Oh, do tell. Well, we've been hanging out a little bit. He's uh, a great guy. He's such a cheer-upper. Oh, I'm glad to hear that Drew is doing what Joe can't. Keeping you company. So, how is your Parisian par amour? He's busy. He's very busy. Mm -hmm. Busy, very busy. How cryptic. What's oh, you? Dorian. Kelly, hello. Have either of you seen Todd? No, and it's not breaking my heart. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have simply just said, no, I haven't seen him. Mm. Okay. 
So we don't know yet whether or not his bone marrow is compatible with stars. No. All right, well, if it's not, let's hope that one of us is a suitable donor. Hmm? Or all of us. Oh, even better. Kelly, I wanted to talk to you. Do you know that Joey was trying to call you late last night? No, he, he when? He did? Yeah. He couldn't reach you and he got very worried, so he called me. Well, I don't get it. I was home. You can ask Drew. I mean, he was there, too. Is there something wrong with your telephone or something? <laughs> no, I got a zillion calls yesterday. Vicky, do you know how long I've been waiting to hear from him? I mean, so long I was wondering why I hadn't. And you know, it just didn't make sense to me why he didn't call. I think perhaps it makes sense to me. What do you mean? Cherchez la femme. Paris is filled with beautiful women. Perhaps he got a little bit distracted and forgot to call. You know, Dorian, I, I find this incredible. Are you suggesting that Joey has not tried to call her? Do you seriously think he called me all the way from Paris just to lie to me? I am suggesting that perhaps it solves the mystery of the phone lines being down. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you and I stay off this subject? After all, we did agree to have a temporary detente, did we not? Oh, we did. Well, why don't we stick to it? Kelly! You know, if that's you and you forgot your key again, you're not getting in. Oh, boy. You take an early retirement, get yourself in gear. You never get rich sucking on a pillow. Good morning, Grandpa. Um... See, I was up all evening preparing the front page story about R.J. Gannon's arrest, so I deserve a little more pillow sight. Forget it. I want to ask you a personal question. Personal question? I've been doing some thinking about you going down to Rio with that carpenter dame. Hey, Grandpa, I didn't sleep with her, okay? And however remote or desirable doing that would be, it, it's not going to happen, okay? That is not the question I was going to ask. You're not asking me about Cassie? Well, I don't give a damn who you're loving up. What I want to hear is about the money. What money? My money that Hester stole from me. I figured maybe a little bird told you where it ended up. Grandpa, if you just took two minutes and read my article instead of coming over here to be my breath of morning sunshine, you'd know that it's somewhere in Switzerland. Don't you dare get cute with me, boy. If you know where it is in Switzerland, my 30 million, you tell me now, right now. Well, um, I'll see you later. Okay. Ready? You are look ready. I didn't see her at the pep rally last night. You know, Andy? Didn't see her among the masses in uh, Angel Square. Yeah, well, she was up here waiting for me. Uh-huh. Besides, she didn't want to rub elbows with anyone who doesn't appreciate her. I'm sure you understand that. Yeah. I mean, but considering, you know, the way people were acting last night. And how were they acting? Um, I mean, you know, to your opinion. Open. That's one word for it, compassionate. There was a, a real feeling, a good one. And I just can't help but thinking your friends wouldn't have minded if Andy'd shown up. Yeah, well, I guess we'll never know. Oh. I've never been in a group like that or outside a group like that and seen such a pouring out of love for, for someone I know. Yeah? Your friends uh, wouldn't do that for you? Are they all the cynical legal types like yourself? Oh, that's a good thing I am. Otherwise, I might actually have been touched by that love fest in Angel Square. We can't have that now, can we? Now, will you hurry up with the tie business? Jury's like clean and simple anyway. Yeah, I like my tie's gonna make a difference in what happens to me now. Kevin, where's my 30 million? That's your personal question? Yes, it is. The money is very personal to me, boy. You're serious, aren't you? My wallet is full of my heart. Well, Grandpa, that's very touching. It's also very frightening at the same time. That's why Hesse hit me where I lived. That bald-headed barracuda. 
for at least 30 million of my money because he knew he could do it. Now, is that personal enough for you, huh? Yes, it is. Getting your money back is also very personal. Oh, good. You're starting to wake up. Now, imagine how I feel. Hester steals my money and stashes it in some yodeling paradise. I can almost practically hear that beaded scum laughing at me right now. Grandpa, I can understand Hester making you see red. He didn't exactly get on my best side either, but he is dead. So? What has that got to do with the price of gold? Well, doesn't it give you a little uh -oh, satisfaction and comfort? 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 That thief died thinking he beat me. Nobody beats Ace if you can and gets away with it. I don't care if all eight ships are called in. You got it? You know what, Grandpa? I was just thinking, your 30 million's been gone a pretty long time now. But you're getting awfully worked up about it right now. Oh, shoot. I knew what time it was. Uh, we gotta get moving. Oh, where am I going? Just get dressed. I'll wait for you right here. Why are you waiting? You want to get to court and get a seat and see what happens to Vega, don't you? Yes, sir. Come in. You saw him? Oh, yeah, I saw him. Why'd you do it, Bo? I had to. Possession of stolen property? What kind of jive turkey charge is that? That's all I had, and I had to bring him in. Bo, you had nothing. I had enough. Hank, listen, I'm too close to figuring this whole thing out to let RJ just slip away on me, you know, or on us. Oh, great. Now you want to include me? It's a little late for that, don't you think? We're on the same team. Are we? Don't go there. Come on. Oh, don't go there. What are you talking about, huh? You arrest my brother on some joke of a charge, and you go around like a madman digging around trying to knock the pins out from everything I've done in that courtroom. You know, a person would be tempted to call that sabotage. A person would be wrong. Bo, I have this case almost sewn up. So why are you doing this now? Because I have serious doubts that Antonio is the killer. In fact, no. I definitely think that he did not kill him. Well, so that gives you the right to arrest my brother without so much as con consulting me? Well, I don't think so. In fact, I've got a few charges of my own that I can lay on you for that kind of interference. All right, now you're threatening me. No, I'm not. But I do want to ask you something. Who are you working for? Me or Nora? Oh, no, Hank, look, the last that I looked, we're all working on the, for the same thing here, the truth. And I'm real close to finding out what it is. So let me ask you this. Will you promise not to fight me if I bring you some evidence, some rock-solid evidence that will turn this case around? Like what? I mean, what have you got besides R.J. and a no-good reason to hold on to him? So, did you come down here to poke me with your legal stick, see if I make the right noises? I'm not interested in your noises, RJ. Oh, that's refreshing. I'm not here as Antonio's lawyer. I'm here as Rachel's mother. I want to protect her. From what? Oh, let me guess. Me. She loves you, RJ. And as much as she loves you, that's how devastated she'd be if she has to watch you crash and burn. I don't want to see her get hurt again. So, I have a request to make. Namely? I want you to get a lawyer. And I want you to tell that lawyer everything that you did, that you know, that you heard, that you said, that had anything whatsoever to do with Carlo's murder. And that's going to protect Rachel. I'm not interested in your guilt. I am only interested in my client's innocence. I believe that you hold the key to this case. And there is a way to gracefully unlock it, sparing your dignity and Rachel some major league pain. <laughs> oh, you're, you're really something. Well, I gather that's not a compliment. Oh, no. No, ma'am. You, you come in here talking about dignity and grace and sparing Rachel pain. 
But who was it who tried to cut into me like a buzzsaw on the stand the other day in front of Rachel? I, I, I think it was you. All right. You publicly accused me of killing Carla. There's nothing graceful in that. And this... Where's the dignity in trying to con me I'm like this? I'm not trying this? to con you. Ar Archie, will you please just listen? No! No. There was a time when I would have. There was a time when I would have done anything for you. But I've seen you in action again. Nora, the professional. And I know you'd ship my butt to Statesville without so much as a backwards glance if we got your boy off, because you don't care about anything except winning. So listen, counselor. Shall I, shall I call the guard and have him give you the heave-ho, or would you rather take the graceful way out? In fact, I think we should stay out of this completely. <clears throat> this is between Kelly and... Joey, this, uh, missed phone call business. Alleged missed phone call. <laughs> I think we'll let them work it out on their own. Or better yet, they could do it in person. What? Why? Is he coming back or something? To no, visit? no, but... You know, Kelly, if your bone marrow is not compatible with stars, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't hop on a plane tonight and be in Paris with Joey in the morning. Yeah, you're right. I mean, beyond this test, I mean, what else can I do for Blair here? Nothing. You've done everything possible. Uh, excuse me, uh, Vicky. I thought that we were going to stay out of Kelly and Joe's business. And after all, Kelly, you are here to support your entire family. Blair and me, it's not just because Storm might need a bone marrow transplant. Uh, who's next? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you all for coming. Oh, it's bad news, is it? Yeah, you could say that. Todd's marrow tested incompatible with stars. He can't be a donor for her. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why we're all here. Right, right. Uh, let's see, which one of you is star's next closest relative? I am. What do I have? Look at the top of this desk. This is what I have. I have files. I have stacks of lists of names and places and everything else. It's all these little pieces that all fit together, Hank. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to fit them all together right now. Yeah, so when you got your little puzzle put together, what do you come up with, huh? A portrait of my brother as a murderer? Maybe. He knew Carlos plan to set Antonio up. He knew it inside and out. And I'm convinced of that. Oh, come on. And I'm almost convinced that he wanted to use Carlos' plan to cover the fact that he had a plan of his own to kill Carlo. You get all of this from a ring and a feather. No! There's more. I'm just trying to get all the evidence together right now to make it hard evidence. See, that's why I've been busting my hump here. I'm trying to firm it all up. For instance? For instance, there was a speedboat right here. It pulled away from beside the Orion immediately right after the uh, murder. And I'll tell you, the guy that was piloting that speedboat, he was either working for RJ or he was working with them, and he witnessed the murder. Look, Bo, even if you do find that guy, it's not enough. I've got hard evidence against Antonio Vega, enough for a conviction. And that's what I'm going to ask the jury for when I get back into that courtroom today. Don't let the fact that R.J. Gannon is your brother cloud your thinking, Hank. Yeah, and don't let how you want Antonio to be innocent cloud yours. Look, I know. I'm on to the real thing here. Oh, okay, great. So now we're back to that conspiracy theory that you and Nora cranked up. It's more than just a theory. It doesn't make sense, Bo. Carlo Hesser was setting Antonio Vega up to take the rap? Yeah, for murder, so you keep saying. Look, if setting up Antonio was Carlo's plan, then he must have also planned to show up dead in the river with a bullet in his head. Otherwise, there's no body. And you need a body for murder. There's an explanation. Yeah, but you don't have it. Nora doesn't have it. Antonio doesn't have it. And that's the hole in your theory that makes it a big, fat zero. You can't tell me where the body was supposed to come from. Nobody's been able to. So, when you can, you come and you talk to me. In the meantime, I got a case to wind up. Come in. Hey there. Please, 
Please, tell me you've got something. All right, how's this? Whoever's been running around using those aliases of Carlos, I think we got him. The passenger list from the airlines. Check it out, second column halfway down. Son of a gun, there's our guy, Arturo Irizarry. Yep. I did a, a, a name search of all those aliases Van Henkel told us that Carla was using for his phony passports. Is this the whole hit list? Yep, uh, every one of them, Irizarry. Oh, man. Where was the first place that he flew to? Yeah, right here. Boston? Yep. Gosh, son of a gun. Look at this. Here's our boat driver. He flies to Boston the day after the murder. Yeah, check this out right here. Uh, a. Irizarry from Boston, Massachusetts. Books it to... Real. Yep. And look at this, last but not least. We have a Irizarry from one way, Lucerne, Switzerland, to Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, man. Look at that. That was only a few days ago, yeah. too. Anything since then? Uh, not according to the computers. All right, let's just keep checking. Our lady. Look at this. Boat driver turned jet setter. He goes over to Switzerland. That happens to be right where all Carlo Hesser's money turned up. This is good. This is very good. I, just, I wish it was better. Boat? Oh, come on. I mean, this is major stuff. This just means that whoever was driving that boat was using the phony passport that Carlo intended on using for himself. Yeah, but if he was using some of Carlo's passports, it means that he had to put his own photo in there. We have no idea what this guy looks like. Uh, yeah, that's true, but, uh, okay, uh, we know the name that he's using. It could lead us... Yeah, what, to something sooner or later? We don't have the luxury of later. <sighs> okay, uh, we could put an APB out on all the Hesser aliases. We don't have enough time, Andy. Oh, there's got to be something we could do. We're so close. Yeah, yeah, we're almost as close, uh, the closing arguments, they're even closer, and as a matter of fact, they're about to start yeah. right now. Yeah, I know. Hey, why don't you go on down there, boy, you can still get a seat. No, 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 that's all right, I mean, Andy. you know, Bo, you sure? Look, you've already done tons more than I ever asked, asked you to do anyway, so... All right, if you need me for anything... Go. Thanks. Please be seated. Have either of you seen Andy? She's not here. Counselor, are you indicated yesterday that you had a final witness that you wished to question? Are you prepared to call that witness? Uh, Your Honor, he, um... I have no further witnesses at this time. I see. Is the court then to assume that you're... you rest your case? Mrs. Buchanan. Yes, Your Honor. The defense rests. Ms. Buchanan, will you be prepared to uh, give your summation after Mr. Gannon? Yes, I'm prepared. Very well, then. Your summation, Mr. Gannon. Thank you, Your Honor. Well... <clears throat> Antonio Vega. Antonio Vega. Ladies and gentlemen, Antonio Vega has been charged with the murder of Carlo Hesser. Now, you all know who Carlo Hesser was, but who is Antonio Vega? Well, now, defense would have us all believe that he is El Leon, the noble, brave champion of an entire neighborhood. But he is, in fact, a cold-blooded killer. And all of the evidence presented during this trial overwhelmingly proves that. Let's take the murder weapon, for instance. This 38 police service revolver, recovered with a palm print on it. Whose print? The defendant's, the accused, Antonio Vega. And you've heard testimony describing the defendant's uncontrollable rages. I mean, you've even seen them for yourselves. I mean, how many times has Mr. Vega erupted in this courtroom in, in the last few weeks? What, three, five, ten, fifteen? I don't know about you, but I myself have lost count. 
And if this man cannot control his temper in a courtroom, a place of reason, a place of respect, then imagine how volcanic his fury must have been when he thought that Carlo Hesser attacked his girlfriend. And when Mr. Vega realized that he might be caught and made to pay for taking the life of another human being, what did he do? He ran. He hid. Now I ask you, is that the action of El Leon? No. That is the desperation of a coward. A coward whose whole defense was based on cowardice. A defense insisting that he was set up by the man whose very body was found floating in Lantano River with a bullet in his brain. And shamelessly trying to blame it on someone, on anyone else. Only cowards would stoop so low. But you, ladies and gentlemen, you are not cowards. You have courage. And you have the power to use that courage. You can see to it that this man, this coward, this cold-blooded killer, pays for that shameless, unforgivable crime. Please, not for me. Not for you, but in the name of justice, use your courage, use your power. Station. just want to confirm some stuff with you. See here that Carlo flew down to Boston several times last month, all one-day round trips. Boston. Matchbook, though. Any help? Now, a matchbook from Boston turns up on this boat. I wonder if Hesser was ever on the boat. A. Irizarry from Boston, Massachusetts, books it to... Rio! And look at this, last but not least. We have a Irizarry from one way, Lucerne, Switzerland, to Boston, Massachusetts. Boston. Yeah, but if he was using some of Carlos' passports, it means that he had to put his own photo in there. We have no idea what this guy looks like. If setting up Antonio was Carlos' plan, then he must have also planned to sew up dead in the river with a bullet in his head. Otherwise, there's no body. And you need a body for murder. And you need a body for murder. And you need a body for murder. Tell you what, why don't we all go get tested together, all three of us? Hmm? Why? Because it's your idea. Actually, Vicki, that's a great idea. The faster we get the results, the sooner we know what our options are for Star. Good. Wonderful. Once again, Vicki, you're leading the way for all of us. Not to the testing room. I don't know where it is. I can help you with that. A second set of doors on your left, and it's actually room 310 in the Buchanan wing. Oh, thank you. Oh, the Buchanan wing. Perfect. Uh, Vicki, let's do this thing. Excuse me, I'm going to go to the uh, Buchanan wing. Well, maybe we'll get lucky with one of the battling blue bloods. I wouldn't get your hopes up. The odds of uh, their bone marrow matching stars, uh, that's pretty unlikely. The best bet for a donor is the sibling, and star doesn't have one. Yet, there's one on the way. But I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't have brought all that up. I'll tell you what, I'll stop talking trash if you lay off the gloom and doom. You just need to know what you're up against, No, Dodd. I don't care about the odds and the percentages. My daughter is going to beat this thing. Because I'm going to find a donor if I have to test every last person on this planet. It's just like last night all over again. They're good people. Even after that slice and dice job, Hank did on Antonio. They're just very good people. Yeah, well, that's what Antonio used to talk about, faith. Wow. 
Yeah, I just hope they don't have any reason to lose it. I never heard anything so deliberately vicious. Well, you expect anything less from Hank Gannon? You know what? That guy is scum. Excuse me, Chris. Mr. DA, Chris. You know you're lying, right? Chris, hey. You know you're just a liar, Chris. That's the way. You've got to relax. It's not the way to beat this. Okay? Besides, it's Nora's turn next. Call him, Hey. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, this recess is just about over. Please return to your seats. Well, you know what, man? Look, Tony, I ain't gonna be able to sit around here and listen to all this, man. Man's acting like he's the one on trial. Chi Chi, let's take the rock back to the diner. All right. I'm with you, man. Sit. Uh, Kevin, you've covered a lot of these trials. Uh, what do you think? Uh, can Nora get uh, Vega off? I wouldn't bet on it. Why not? Because the trial is based on 100% circumstantial evidence, all of which points to Antonio being guilty. And as brilliant as Nora is, I really don't think she's going to get that jury past that fact. I hate to see an innocent kid go up the river for the rest of his life. You really do think Antonio is innocent, don't you? I just might. Well, if that's the case, then who shot Carlo? Was it RJ? I'll give you a tip. If you think R.J.'s a shooter, then you are missing the real story. Ready? As I'll ever be. Honey, I gotta talk to you for a minute. What's going on? I should be right back. Nora. I'll be right back. Yeah. This is... What's up? What's going on? You got something. What is it? What is it? I can't go into it right now. Not the details. I gotta go. But you gotta go in there and stall, honey. Stall? Yeah. I, stall? How do you expect me to stall? I'm going in there and giving my summation no, 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 right no, no, now. No, right now you gotta stall and keep on stalling until I get back. How? You are the legal wizard. You're gonna think of something. <laughs> 